Hey, what's up guys? We're playing Vector TD. It's another tower defense flash game. I remember it being pretty good, so let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Now, I don't know really what any of the buttons are. Bank 250 lives, okay, whatever, interest, blah, 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 music, graphics, normal maps, switch back. Okay, so these are the maps. I guess we'll just play that one. Oh, and these are harder maps. Okay, we'll just play switch back for now. Let's go ahead and load the map. So that, I'm guessing, sends in the stuff. Graphics, high music. Yeah, we're good with that. Okay, these are the towers. I don't know what actually all of them do. Lost round 40. Come on, man. We lost round 40. Okay. Well, we're going to give it another whirl, and this time I know how to play. So, let's go ahead and play again. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same map, load map, but this time I kind of know what I'm doing a little better. So, let's go ahead and... Do one of these and okay let's try to get it past let's try to finish it this time kind of sad that we lost the first time but i feel like i there was a couple of key things that i missed specifically the damage boosters there at the end i could have utilized probably a lot better i still think the interest at the beginning was correct i think using all the interest increases is pretty crucial at the beginning just to get enough towers in the first place but I also kind of now know what works and what doesn't so this is good I think I'm gonna try to just save up until the 200 to get this oh that's not good um do I just say screw it and get another no, no, I'm gonna save up until the red here. I think the red is gonna be real good right here. Okay. Let me place the red right here, and this will take care of all of them. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Kinda sad that I can't put it up here, but we have to do what we have to do. Ain't gonna complain. This time we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our resources to the best of ability and I think we can take this down. It's going to be slightly slow start compared to the, you know, the action packed ending we had just had, but when do I get my first bonus? I'm trying to increase that interest. Okay, we got our first bonus here actually. Good, so we can start increasing our interest here. One place another one of these right here. Pew 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 pew. Where are these green flyers going? I'll place one green thing right there because I think, especially just early in the game, that'll help us quite a bit. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's the bonus. Here's our bonus point. These are all white, so I don't think one thing specifically destroys it. We gotta destroy this little bonus in the back. Hopefully we're able to do that. If not, I'll just place another green really, really quickly. Come on. Get at him. Get at him. We should be able to destroy it. I'd be very surprised if we didn't. Come on. Get it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this green... This... These two will be able to handle it here. Okay, instantly interest. Instantly. Interest will help us right away. 6%. Q, 
pew, 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 pew. Do I need to buy something? To make him stop? I can hit four. Hmm. I wonder which... I mean, the rate two has to be better, right? Well, if that's the case, I might place the, I might sell this and replace it with that. Let's go ahead and sell this. Place that right here. I think that's decent placement for that one. Send the Vectoids. Should probably place a purple. the best maybe right here well I guess I'd have to take care of the purples incoming right so I might as well just post put it right there for now right, it's purple two this is twice the damage and I'm still we played last game and I, I got a really good idea of what things do but I feel like I still don't particularly grasp the idea of every single one just yet but we'll get there Go ahead and buy a green two here. I think that'll do a fair amount of damage. We never even bought this one last time. Maybe we should give the, give the green laser three a chance. Okay, and here's our bonus. Go ahead and make sure we take advantage of this. Place that there. Again, this, the second we get the bonus, we're hitting interest. As far as this late into the game. Pew, pew. Interest. Okay. So we're just going to place those two blues right there and there. And then we're going to start building more reds around them. Yeah, so far, the one thing I'm missing is really these reds. So I'm going to play... I'm going to... See, 800 is kind of expensive right now, but... I want to get more towards these red spammers. Let's see how much damage this blue does to him. If the green will even let it near him. Yeah, I, feel, I almost feel like these are somehow better because they slow it down, which is much more valuable. But I, how can I say that it's better when it costs less? I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. Let's buy a blue two and place it right there. Just to help with this little, this little attack. There we go. Easy peasy. Ain't even getting far. We got yellow sprinters and blue spinners next. Oh, should I place any more purples? Are we worried about purples right now? I think we should be. Luckily, these things have fairly wide, a you know, fairly wide range. Two thousand. Should I save up for this? Is it like that good? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll save up for it. Well, we do get a bonus this round, though. I think these greens, these greens are actually doing a, like a fair amount of work, even compared to like the reds. Maybe I should just get more greens. Pew, pew. Oh, yeah. Okay, this round we get a bonus. Okay, noted, noted. Maybe we just put a little red spammer right here. Maybe a couple more greens, like right here. I think that's a terrible idea. I feel like I'm undervaluing the greens, to be honest. Now I'm looking at like how much damage they're doing. They're not that bad. They're really not. They almost like do more damage than the reds do. I feel like I focused on the reds being the damage makers, but okay, we're gonna go on interest again. I don't feel like they are actually. I feel like the reds just play like that range roll or splash damage, even though their, their splash damage is kind of booty cheeks. 
I guess I could upgrade it, right? Each upgrade is only $100. That might not be actually terrible. Maybe I'll just upgrade just this one. And maybe I should probably upgrade this. That's $250, though. Let's just do one little upgrade on that one. So maybe we could just reach a bit farther. What do I put down? Do I just save up the 2k for the green laser 2 and just have this like just wreck people? Maybe that is it. And then where do I put it? Do I put it like over here? Or put it over here? Hmm. Well, I guess for now we're doing fine, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. I think we'll be able to afford it soon. Let's see how much this does now. We've upgraded a few times. Does it do a bit more damage? It does do... Mm, it's not doing a crazy amount of damage, surprisingly. I don't know. I feel like the red rocket we bought last time wasn't actually that good. I don't know. I almost feel like a lot of these level 2s are better. Okay, so we can buy the green 3. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. Like, how do I get it like off my hand? Okay, I guess I can just click somewhere. I wanna sell this one. Hmm. I feel like that actually might be better there. Alright, let's see. Let's see, does it do a whole lot? I feel like it. That has to be a lot, right? I guess we'll see. We'll see if, if later rounds are easier because of that. But that was $2,000. Just really expensive. So I'm hoping that that works out. Hoping that works out. Because that's very expensive. Okay. So yeah, we Um... I feel like, why do I need the purple tower too? It's just more damage, right? I feel like this might be just good. Maybe I'll just buy a couple of these and call it a day, you know? Alright, there we get that bonus. We're gonna go ahead and put in an interest again. We're really only gonna start power boosting later. For now, let's just keep... Oh, let's just put it right here. And then from here, we'll actually just upgrade it so it can have bigger range. I think that might be a better idea, because then once you upgrade its range, it's going to start going into here and into here. Yeah, so far, I think the greens are a good idea, because look how much damage they're doing. I, I felt like in my first run, I had more trouble at this stage. Let's run, upgrade that. Well, it's kind of sad. We'll have to give it a few upgrades, but I think it'll do nothing but good for us, to be honest. So... I'm not going to worry about it too much. Give it another upgrade. Another upgrade. See, I think now it's getting to the point where it'll start reaching even up at the higher. I think we'll have to give it one or two more upgrades. Because I really want it to hit that top row. See, that bottom row is like decimated. It's, it's costing us a bit, but it's just it's strong. I don't know. I think we'll give it. Okay, that's it. We're done. We can't give it any more because we're, we're gonna we're gonna put a little too much power into it and not enough in everything else, and we might get in trouble. So I'm not gonna put any more. But see, I think in this round, specifically against these purples, it's gonna help quite a bit. It's hitting things that I'm kind of already being hit. I feel like last last game we had more stuff on the board at this point, but I feel like the things that we have right now are just stronger. Which is good, right? With less stuff, we're holding them back even better. At this point, what do I, what do I bother? Do I bother with anything? Put the slow there and there. And we could potentially put slow right here. And a slow right here. Oh, maybe slow right there. Slow right there. And a 
of slow right there. Now I think we build more attack things around that. Okay, I think we're at the point where we're going to go ahead and give it one more interest, but we're not doing any more. I think 18% interest is probably a good spot to maybe start chilling out a little bit. And now we can maybe work on some dam can work on getting some damage boosters going. I think that'll be important. But I also gotta get some towers up to damage boost, because that's even gonna be more important. And I think my first damage boost is gonna be in this area right here. That's not good enough. Hmm. I think we'll do that. See, these have really good range too. I think maybe a couple of twos aren't isn't a terrible idea in this area either. But I damage boost. I want to make sure I boost a couple of good things, you know. A couple more of the these 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 beans have proven themselves to be good, so I might as well continue utilizing them. So far, so good. I'm wondering when I'm getting my next booster here. Oh yeah, these beans will do work. Hmm. This is this pauses here. Hmm. Nah, I think I've got I've got enough coverage. I think maybe the one place I don't have coverage is maybe right here. I could probably place that there just for a little extra coverage. I'll place one of those there. Uh, we're getting a bonus soon, so... Uh, I don't know. I think I need to place a bunch of greens at the bottom here. They're all 400 each, though. I don't know. In that sense, I can almost get rid of a couple of blues down here. Just to get some money back. I might just do that. This is maybe a bad idea, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and sell those. So I can have a little bit more money to do this. Okay. So I really just need 12 more hundred, and then I can boost. Once I get the 1200, I can boost. And I'll feel like good about the boost too. But see, they're already like getting kind of whopped right now, which is nice. But once they hit this area, it's like over, over. And then this, after I boost here, this is going to be my next area. I'm going to target this, because this, this is another pretty high damage, high volume of damage area. You guys going to be good? You going to be able to take that bonus down for me? Come on. There we go. Alright, I think, like I said, I need 1,200. I think I'm just going to be a little short. You know what I'm going to do? It's fine. Let's just... Technically, this boost isn't like the interest. I can give it a second. So, we'll just get to 400, place it, and then do the boost. And we'll be fine. Okay, now... Theoretically... That is going to boost... Eh, all the damage and that's gonna be real juicy there oh yeah that is juicy again I think the next boost is gonna be in this area and then if I do another boost hmm I don't even know where I, where I put probably either here or here I feel like the only amazing boost spots are here this area this area and this area which I guess is fairly obvious, because what, are you going to put them on the side? Like, obviously not. So far, so good. We've got 1200 in the bank, which I'm not going to spend right now, because we're, we're doing just fine. No reason to do anything crazy right now. Yeah. The other thing we could do is we could maybe boost right here, but I feel like, again, that... 
Oh, maybe we don't need that. And I guess the only thing I could have missed is I could have probably placed the booster one more over. Yeah, but it's okay. So, I think this could have been much more efficient, but I'm not going to trip about it. We're fine. I will... Huh. What I might do, though... I don't know. What should I put into this block, though? I think I should put a lot of purples, right? I think purples would be very effective in this area. And then I'm going to put the booster in this spot right here. I just feel like since purples have a longer range, they're going to be better to have deeper inside of that square. Now, obviously the, the range difference is fairly minimal, you know, from here to here. But the purples do have more range, therefore they will be better. They will be more efficient. So if you want to min-max it, having purples inside is better than having like a green inside. Also, I have... Oh, I need to drink some water for real. So I'll do that after this game. Okay, the next bonus I'm sticking right here is a booster. Then I might just stick greens all around it, to be honest. Because this is covered here and here. So I could potentially just dig do I could do this just for fun because it's not super expensive. What is it? 300? Whatever. I'm, I basically just spent 300 to slow a couple things down. I don't think that's a horrible idea to be honest. And I'm not going to place any green ones. I might as well just use the greens twos. Alright. Ooh, that booster is going fast. Where are you going, bud? Slow down. Where are you going? We're not done with you. What are we at? Oh, I, I didn't even realize we're at all the way at 35. Look at us go. So now, is, it, is this the best place to put it? Hmm. I feel like it is. Let's just do it. I gotta stop. I gotta stop tripping. Just play the game. We got two damage boosters. 18% interest. Well, the interest doesn't really matter at this point. We're so late into the game. It doesn't really, really matter. Now what matters is damage. And we're doing plenty of it right now. I definitely think I figured out what's decent. I think the greens and the purples are real good, along with the damage boosters. High interest early is good. And... Okay, well, this is going to sound fairly generic, but a good spread of blues to slow things down, blue ones, with green twos scattered around the map, and purple twos. I think the green threes, the green three is good, recommend. I think the red three is not recommended, and the purple three is not recommended, although I haven't bought it yet. And then again, high interest in the beginning, boosters around level 25 to 30, and obviously place boosters in high populated areas, and... I think you've got yourself a map. We're at 37. Haven't lost a life. Honestly, I kind of just still have money lying around. I might as well just place it down at this point. Fill in these gaps, but we're doing good. No problems. And they're not even getting that far. We haven't even had anything get here. They've all they've all just kind of made it here and then gotten basically melted in that instant. Okay, so I think that's all that that booster can reach. So we're going to go ahead and leave that this point if I was even really smart I could probably place a couple more slows here well I might have wasted that 300 right there but I'm not whatever again no tripping I ain't worried about it we're fine okay these reds are a little stronger I think I'm maybe I'm lacking a little bit on the reds I think I'm, I'm gonna save up for a couple of those uh are they red spammers? I might save up for a couple more of these. The red spammers are good here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a couple of red spammers in the works. Make sure that we've we at least have that covered. Yeah, I feel like we're not utilizing all of the map, but the parts of the map that we are utilizing are being utilized 
in an absolute juicy way where we're getting that maximum damage out. And give me a little bit more money so I can buy another red right here. Come on, kill something. Do something. Come on, really? Nothing has died so far? There we go. Yeah, these blues are a little these blues are being a little troublesome. We're gonna be alright? Yeah, we'll be alright, but that's close. A little closer than I like, because the second they get past right here, it's kinda GG's on my part, so. A little scary, but alright. But next round it Oh, this is the final round actually. Well then, let's just uh go ahead and place what we got here. This is the last round. The the what's nice is in this round a lot of the things split apart. So the yellows the yellow sprinters got, went so far up ahead that they kind of just get destroyed, and it lets these things get destroyed now. And then when they get to where the sprinters were, the sprinters are already gone. So really, this round is hard, but not crazy hard because the troops split themselves up over the map, which makes the towers much more effective at destroying them. Honestly, just for giggles here. You know what I might do? Oh, okay. I was gonna put a couple more masters for fun, but we we won. You completed all 40 levels and scored at 29,000. Okay, play again. We could do a different map, but I'm definitely done with this video. But um, there we go. We won. Very fun tower defense game. Highly recommend. Thanks for watching, guys.